KTL exclusive. Oh, oh, it's a car in the building. Uh, we ain't sorry if we kill it. Riding for my God, niggas know I'm never swerving. Spreading love, cause our people hurt me. Yeah. Is it oppression or depression? Is it all? This is Acts chapter 26 and verse 18. Right? Now, to open their eyes. Brother, to open your eyes to the truth, to the laws of God, right? You know what? And to turn them from darkness to light. Turn you from darkness to light and from what? And from the power of Satan. And from the power of Satan. Unto God. Unto God, right? right. That you, they may go ahead, go ahead. That they may receive forgiveness of sins. Right? You want to be for you want the most high to forgive your sins, right? So that like, yeah, you want to have a clean slate. You want the most high to remember any sins that you committed in your past life or in your youth. Or what you're doing right now, brother, because smoking is a sin, okay? You gotta stop, you know, uh, uh sinning in the presence of the most high God, especially in the presence of his prostitutes, man. Right. See what I'm saying? But bring it up, okay? You know what I'm saying? Uh -uh. Alright, I'll keep it. Um an inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith right. that is in me. Right, that's sanctified by faith. No, read that last part again. <laughs> that they may receive forgiveness of sins. Right. And inheritance. And inheritance. You want that eternal life, right? You want the yeah. kingdom of heaven? Right? You want slaves? You want slaves, brother? I don't know. I you don't know if you want slaves? I want to be. Uh, no, I don't, I don't you want, want to be equal with the white man? I don't know what to do. I'm not trying to do what they did to us. Bro. Now, this is the thing. We're not going to rape them. We're not going to, you know what I'm saying? We're not going to do it on that level. But we are going to beat them. We are going to do the things that they did to us. Give me Revelation 18 and 6. That's crazy. Them ideas been coming to my head like some thoughts been coming to my head. Brother, you have oppression make of a white man mad. You can read that in Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. We are tired of being oppressed. We are tired of working for the white man. Right? You see her? Right? She's walking on stolen ground. She's benefiting from white supremacy. And she knows it. Right. But guess what? You're gonna go into slavery for the good of That's right. Right? Because birth or fuck, there's no statute of limitations for murder, man. So they have to pay. Bring it up. Like Book of Philippians chapter 2 and verse 21. Right. For all seek their own. Everybody wanna seek their own. Please their own flesh. I wanna smoke this blunt. I wanna fuck this. I wanna have sex with this woman. Right? I wanna do whatever the hell I want. But keep God's laws. See, you see what I'm saying? Drop that give me first John 3 22, but read on. Bring that up. Revelation 18 and 6. Right. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Reward her. Who is her? Right? The white man. The great, the Babylon, the great whore, right? You know? Reward her uh -huh. even as she rewarded you. Even as she rewarded you. So what the white man did to us, we're going to do it to her as what? And double. Double. Unto her. Double unto according her. According to her work. According to her work. Be us, right? They literally took Alligator and they, and, they, and they use the alligator to love the food. But they wanted to forget about slavery, about Emmett Till being burned alive. They wanted to forget about innocent people being hanged. See what I'm saying? Bring it up. This is Jeremiah 30 and 16. Right. Therefore, all they that devoured these, everybody that devoured us, right, shall be devoured. Did the white men devour us, brother? Has he been devoured? Yes. No. So what's going to happen in, in pursuit of weapon as reported by the Bible? That's right. You see, thou sayest, but keep reading, King. Over thy one fifteen. And all thine adversaries. All our enemies. That guy right there, that white man, he's our enemy. You know? Right. Every one of them. Every one of them. That's right. Shall go into captivity. Nah, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna have mercy, brother. Uh, they shall go into captivity. They're gonna what? Shall go into captivity. And they can't circumvent or bypass around it. It's inevitable. And I understand, brother, it might seem eccentric, abnormal, or strange that what we believe in is weird. Why? Because we're unconventional. Not, um, you know, um, not conformist. We're not predicated or conformed to what, to what the world generally is sensibly to, to, um, to be true. See what I'm saying? Christianity is insanity. Jehovah's wickedness. We're not predicated upon these beliefs. We're predicated on upon God's law, statutes, and commandments. Bring you got first John 22 for me? No, I got Obadiah. Oh, uh, bring it up. Give me the uh, book of Obadiah, uh, chapter 1 and verse 15. Right. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. The day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. Was it heathen? Somebody that's not part of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Right? Read on. 
As thou has done, uh, um, as thou has done, it shall be done unto thee. So what they did to us is gonna be given back to them. It's called karma. It's yeah. a universal law. They can't, uh, you know, sidestep around it. See what I'm saying? Bring it up. This is First John three and twenty-two. So this is what we must do to propitiate our heavenly Father. Right? For example, let's say you. You got bad grades and your mom, you know, she's mad at you. You're gonna try your best to regain her favor and her and find favor in her sight by by doing what is satisf satisfying or pleasing unto her, right? Bring it up. And it says, and whatsoever we ask, uh -huh. we we receive of him, right? And because we keep his commandments, we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. So what is pleasing unto the most high God? Keeping his commandments. So right 35 and 3, man. And what, what is also pleasing unto the most high God? Keeping his commandments and abstaining, right? The wickedness, the rudiments of this world. You see what I'm saying? We gotta start keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments, brother. I gotta keep harping on these things because our people, they don't care to keep God's laws. They wanna please their own flesh. We gotta be in the spirit of Moses. Moses was the grandson of, 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 of Pharaoh, right? He had all this money, these riches, but he refused to be, to, uh, uh, be conformed to the image of Egypt. Right? I'm gonna be conforming the I'm a I'm a I rather suffer affliction with the people of God that's a that's to gain the riches and fame of this world. That's this, right. We this is the thing. We rather um people wanna choose I'm trying the best to fit in so that they can be accepted by the world. We rather choose to keep God's laws so that we can be accepted by God. We rather be I rather be real and rejected than be fake and accepted. You see what I'm saying? Are you do you wanna be an adversary to the most like God and an ally to this world? Or you want to be an ally to the most like God and an adversary to this world. Because once you come into the truth, right, you're going to be hated by all men. It's facts. You see what I'm saying? Niggas is not going to like you. Your own people are going to, you know, uh, uh, in your own town, your people are going to, you know, deprive you. I don't want to I don't want to deal with you, man. I'm going to rob you. I'm going to take your weed. I'm going to take, I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to take your woman. And that's all throughout the Bible, man. But bring that up. You got something? Yeah. Go ahead. This is Proverbs 8 and 32 and on. Uh -huh. It says, now young people, listen to me. Young people. Bro, you know we in our prom, right? Yeah. Like, give me a sequel to all the uh, 22 and 22. Do as I say. Oh, okay, keep bro. on walking there. I was right keep there. Keep on walking. Tanya, Anyways, like, brother, touching back on what I was saying, let's come back to the point, right? Uh, yo, sir, right 35 and 3, right? Read that again. Because sorry, right, chapter uh, 35 and verse 3. This goddamn That's devil want to come and interrupt the word of the word of God. Bring it up. To depart from wickedness right? is a thing pleasing to the Lord. Brother, you want to depart from wickedness because that's pleasing unto the most like God, right? But, you know, uh, uh, you had um, what I wanted. You got acts? Yeah, all right, all right, cool. So, do you know any, any laws of the most high God? Any laws? Have you eternal life kind of commands? We're gonna we're gonna help you, right? Give me uh, uh number two hundred thirty-eight. Give me Leviticus eleven. Guess what? Give me Leviticus um eleven and nine. Guess what? We're gonna show you some commandments that the Christian church, you know, the pork chop eating pastor, will never teach you. See what I'm saying? All right, so don't pay attention to that guy. You know, he just, he's hot, he's drunk. He just wants you. That's that's what Satan do. He comes. I was black. You know, you're receiving this word. It's it's not so beautiful. It sounds like Abe. I never heard this before. And the devil would have come and take you out. This is Ezra four and verse two. Then they came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them, Let us build with you, for we seek your God. So this is what this guy says. Let me build with you because I seek your God. But can we show the white man cannot be part of your uh, uh, um, your authority? Cannot be ruling with you? He gonna say hell no. Right. So read on. Um, as ye do, and we do sacrifice unto him since the days of Ashan, king of Assyria, uh -huh. which brought us out of hither. But Zerubbabel and Joshua and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Israel. What did they say? You said know? unto him. Uh huh. Ye have nothing to do with us. What does this guy have? Ye have nothing to do with us. Now he gonna be associated with our God. You have nothing to do with us. So that's why I say this message is not for you. Keep on walking. Go hither, right? Give me uh 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 Leviticus 11 and 9 and number 38. Bring it out. Book of Numbers chapter 15 verse 37. Yep. And the Lord spoke unto Moses saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. Not speak unto the Hamites. Speak unto the children of Israel. Not to the white man. Speak unto the children of Israel, uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So, brother, you gotta get fringes in the borders of your garments, right? Right for what? Throughout their generations. Throughout all your generations, you gotta be holy, set apart. See what I'm saying? 
you want to be divergent. You don't want to be like, you see the white man you got his suits on, right? You want to have your fringes. This is how we just threaten the, oh, that's a brother. He's keeping God's role. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you, oh, this one's that, right? Huh. And that they put up on the fringe of the brothers a ribbon of blue. You see a ribbon of blue, you got the fringe, and you got a ribbon of blue. You get swaggy with it, look. Brother got the white and blue, brother got the black and navy blue. See what I'm saying, brother got the ZZ. You can also rock that, rock that too. See what I'm saying? We tripped up out here, man. See what I'm saying? Give me uh, 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 Leviticus 19 and 2 to show that we gotta be home. Uh, is it on that No. Ah, we don't, block it. And it shall be unto you for a friend, uh -huh. that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. Now some of the commandments. All, all the, the commandments. commandments of the Lord. Right, so look, so you having these fringes on, when you about to go to the store, you feel like, I need to smoke. You're going to be like, hold up. You're going to look down and be like, hey, God don't want me to smoke, man. I got I to gotta walk in righteousness, blameless, in the presence of the Most High God. Because if you fall in the hands of the living power, it's, you don't want to, give me that in Hebrews, man. Let's see what, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's Leviticus 11 and 9. Right. These shall you eat of all that are in the water. No, no, uh, what did you No, no, so like, uh, seven. Oh, seven. verse seven. Brother, you eat pork? Bacon, what about, you know, pepperoni, that's good, right? Yeah. Verse 7, verse 7. And the swine, though he divided the hoof, right? Though he divide the hoof, he be cloven and be cloven footed, yet he chew not the cut. Right, just because it's an animal, he's cloven footed, he chew not the cut, he is unclean, right? Read on. He is unclean to you. Uh huh. Of their flesh shall you not eat. So I was going to ask you, why you don't eat pork? Diabetes. Diabetes, right? That's fine, but we gotta not eat pork because God said not to eat pork. That's right. 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 Everybody, all, oh, well, I understand the, the health benefits that, you know, is very detrimental to our biological genetic structure, but we have to do it because God said so. Not because the white man told you, but because God, right? Read on. What about, you know, I like shrimp is fire. Shrimp? What about, oh, shrimp noodle? Mm -hmm. All right, all right, let's see what the Bible says, right? Read on. Um, verse 9, these shall you eat that are all in the water. So God is, I mean, Moses is telling the children water. of Israel all the things that you can eat that are in the waters, right? Read on. Whatsoever have fins and scales. So whatever has fins and scales, right? What? That are in the waters, in the seas and the rivers, them shall you eat. Them shall you eat, right? Read on. And all that have not fins nor scales. So the shrimp, a shrimp has fins and scales? No. Right? What about crabs? Nah, you see what I'm saying? The point of the ocean is to clean up the ocean so that the ocean will not be polluted. But well, you got the white man fitting us, fitting into us and saying it's a delicacy. You got our women, right? I love my crab legs, right? My shrimp, my lobster, all these abominable foods, man. But and if you are eating these things, when the day of the when the when Yahweh Shai, right, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, when he comes back and you are eating these abominable foods, you are gonna be put to death. That's right. Right? But read on. Verse, uh, verse 10. Right. And all that have not fins nor scales in the seas, right. in the rivers, and all that move that move in the waters, right. and of any living thing uh -huh. which is in the water, right. they shall be an abomination. It shall be an abomination, but there's something that's disgusting and very, you know, hatred to, to you. See what I'm saying? So from this day forward, brother, are you going to eat shrimp? All oh, praise to the most high. You got to go. Oh, praise the book of John, uh, chapter 14 and verse 15. Bring it out. If you love me, if you love who? If you love, love me, me uh -huh. keep my Romans commandments. Romans 13 and 10. 13 and 10. If you love God, you're going to keep his commandments, right? Give me Romans 13 and 10. Give me second of John and 1 and 6, man. We're going to show you what is love, you know, in accordance with the wife, right? Because everybody thinks love is an affection. That's cool, right? You got a, a connotation of denotation for it. The connotation for love, well, the real denotation for what love is, is keeping God's laws. But the white man is not going to tell you that. The, the white man going to tell you that the laws of God are done away with. We got to keep Ten Commandments. I'm going to be a homosexual. You can be a homosexual. You could uh, sleep with dogs. And, you know, God is still going to accept you. That's madness, right? God is not dealing with that. You feel me? Woman, bitch, and ten. Second John 4 6 and this is love that we walk after his commandments. Uh, Alright, read that again. This is love that we walk after his yes. commandments. Right, so brother, what is love? Okay, and according to the Bible. After his commandments. That's right. This is Romans 13 and 10. Right? If you love someone. Is that you know what I'm saying? 
They don't rock with you. Ah, I feel you. You know, I'm in the same boat too, King. Right, we don't? If you love someone, I love you, right? You will never do them wrong. I will never do you wrong, King, right? To love, to love, then is to obey the whole law. To obey the whole law. They said there's 10 commandments, but according to the Bible, it's over 600 of them. Right, right, right now, you are woke. America, they have over 40,000 laws, and they hope that you are subservient to, to those laws. But we gotta be subservient to God's laws. See what I'm saying? It's not hard, it's not grievous. Give me first John 3 and 4. Right, they wanna tell you that, look, it's hard to not eat pork. Right, it's hard to not be a homosexual. You see what I'm saying? Our people are just laws. See what I'm saying? But bring it up. This is Leviticus. Oh, 19. You got that? All right, bring it up. This is Leviticus 19 and 17. Right. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Right. You see, the people they hate you. They can't hate. You can't hate your own people in your heart. You see what I'm saying? Your heart is your mom. You don't. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So that's what we doing right now. We rebuking you, brother. You can't smoke. You see what I'm saying? So you bought a black tomorrow, right? You still have it? Go on. Right. We are the Corinthians. We are First Corinthians 3 16. Right. We're gonna show you because. Bible, you know, the you can't imagine me. Would you throw a, a smoke bomb in God's temple? Hell no, but God goes inside you, right? So, what are you smoking this blunt, smoking this black amount, and now it's destroying your inside? Right. And God is gonna what? Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. Who right. are you? I'm kidding. What is this? A frat party? You see what I'm saying? Bring it out. Is that for so first John 3? Oh no, your first John 3 and 4, and give me second Corinthians. No, first Corinthians. First John 3 verse 4, right? Who's, who's uh, soever committed sin? This is what sin is, brother. Transgressed also of the law, right? For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of the law, right? And where do we find the law? The first five books of the Bible. See what I'm saying? Right? All right, all right bring that up. This is First Corinthians uh, 3 and 16. Right. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. Don't you know that you are the temple of God? Right? And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. The Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Jo Joel 2 and 20, uh, 27. Right? The Spirit of God dwells among us. And that is a kite. Right? Because everybody always says that God is dwelling in church. When you go to the Greek word for church, it's ecclesia, which means a gathering. So God is a, a gathering of the Israelites. So how is God dealing with these churches if you got so much ethnic backgrounds in these churches, man? Bring it up. Uh, See what I'm saying? Sure. He's only dealing with the children of Israel, not the white man, the Chinese man, the Indian man that tried to take you away from the word just now. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Sure. Bring it up. If any man defile the temple of God, you defile the temple of God, right? Your body, right? Your flesh, right? Him shall God destroy. Now he's gonna save him. Him shall God destroy. Now the Muslims are gonna have mercy on him. Him so shall God, God destroy. God is gonna destroy you. That's why our people are continuing to die out here. Because they hear the words of the God, but what they, they but what they rather do. You know, Hebrews 7 25, man. They rather walk in, 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 in their lust, man. See what I'm saying? Quick precept, bring it out, baby. The book of Isaiah, 1, verse 19 and 20. Bring it out. But if you be willing, uh, 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 one and nineteen. Right. But if you be willing um, and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Mm. But if you refuse and rebel, if you what? If you refuse and rebel, what's gonna happen? You shall be devoured with the sword. Whoop. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. You're gonna be devoured with the sword, man, because the most I have spoken it. You don't want to die out here. You know what the sword? The sword is right. The modern day gun. Your own brother could kill you. Because they always say, oh, peace, peace. Now, how are you peace, man? Right, give me Jeremiah 6 and 14. Give me Jeremiah, uh, uh, uh. And Jeremiah uh, 6 and 14. And you ready to go to 83 and 82. Yeah, what's up, Amos? Where? Amos chapter 9 and verse 10. Yep. All the sinners of my people. All the sinners. Everybody that transgresses the law of our Heavenly Father, right? If you don't obey the rules and regulations that the Most High wants you to, uh, wants you to on how to conduct yourself, what's going to happen? Shall die by the sword. Shall what? Shall, Shall die, die by the sword. sword. Now they going to live. Shall die by the sword. You know? When say, the evil shall not overtake, nor prevent us. Right? A lot of people think, well, look, I'm smoking this door right now. God hasn't killed me yet. Not understanding that the Most High is long suffering. Right? If you don't repent from your wicked ways, guess what? You're going to die with the white man. You're an oppressor. You don't want to die with this God. You want to you wanna be over this devil, man. See what I'm saying? 
So it's hard time, brother, to awake out of sleep. Right, you got a free sub? You got that for me? Yeah, you had Dramas since 14. Oh, give me, uh um. This is Jeremiah 6 and 23. Thus saith the Lord, behold, people coming from the north country. Oh, 14. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. Bring it up. This is Jeremiah 6 and 14. Right. They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly. So this is what the white man does. He try to heal us slightly by what? By saying peace. By saying peace. peace. They act if it's the wounds that they did unto us were only scratches, right? By saying peace, peace, and what? When there is no peace. There is no peace, white man. Uh, we don't give, give a damn about you. That's right. See what I'm saying, read on. Verse 15, right? Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Were they ashamed when they killed us, right? Burned us alive. Innocent people, hanged them. They showed no remorse or pity, right? To the elderly or the younger ones, right? Give me us Psalm 28 and 3 now. Right? They say they want peace. They say they want peace, but what? But this light is deadly. Uh huh. Like an arrow that strikes when you least expect it. Bro, imagine you getting hit with a, a, a bullet when you don't even know from, from the back. That's like the white man. He want peace, but this lie is deadly as a trap. No, this lie, this lie is, is, is deadly. Right? Like an arrow that strikes you when you least expect it. See what I'm saying? We don't know that. It's, 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 this is Psalms 28 and verse 3 in the GNC. Do not condemn me with the wicked. Right? Don't condemn me with the white man. Right? With those who do evil. Those who do evil. Those whose words are friendly, those but who have hatred in their heart. Brother, they're gonna be like, brother, I got this. You know, this EBT call for you. Right? Section 8. You know what I'm saying? Right? Take this, take this vaccine. I'm gonna provide you with money. Right? Full stamp. Oh, anything you want, they're gonna give it to you. But those whose words are friendly are what? Those, who, uh, was Those whose words are friendly, right? But who's who have hearts, who have hatred in their hearts. You see what I'm saying? They have hatred in their heart. They don't give a damn about us, man. Now we're gonna go into the curses of the Bible to show you that we are the true people of this book, man. Right? Give me the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Right? Whoever got it first. Oh, 35 and 20? Uh, give me uh, 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 45. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 45. Bring it out! Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee. So, brother, and shall so it's a curse, a good thing or a bad thing? A bad thing, right? So these curses are gonna come upon us and what? And pursue thee. And pursue us. And overtake thee. And overtake thee. Till thou be destroyed. So we be destroyed. So Moses is talking to the children of Israel. You heard about, you know, Moses telling Pharaoh, let my people go, right? So we just been redeemed out of Egypt. See what I'm saying? And he's telling the children of Israel, if you, if you keep God's laws, right, you're going to be blessed. But if you don't keep God's laws, you're going to be cursed. Now right. we're going to go through some of the, give me verse 46. Verse 46. Right. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So the curse, right, what's in you on? You see Easton Ave, right? Easton Ave, that's a sign. So these curses are, these curses are going to be a sign for us to understand and differentiate that we are the people of this book, the true Jews and Israelites, right? Read on. And for a wonder. And for a wonder, right? Because our people, our people, we suffer an identity crisis. How am I black? That's the color in the frame box, right? Your shoes are black, brother. But you got, you know, you're melanated. You're not the color black. See what I'm saying? And you even got negative connotations for black, right? Black ball, black magic, black male, right? Even I play eight ball pool, right? You got the white ball hitting the black ball, nigga. That's racist. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Wait, uh, uh, what are you doing? And upon thy seed. Forever. Forever. So these curses are going to help us differentiate and understand that, look, we are the true Jews and Israelites of the Bible. That goddamn devil in Israel, he is not an Israelite. Uh, right? He took our heritage. Why? Because the white man is incognito. He wants to remain unidentified. He said, look, I'm going to call you black, Hispanic, Latino, and I'm going to say I'm a Jew so that you could think that I am the people of God. Hold the hell. Hold, hold up. They're not slick. We see what they're doing. Right? Jewish people. Right? They lack, they they have a curse called leprosy. And that's how the white man, he plays semantics, right? See what I'm saying? Because we understand that if you lack, um, if you lack melanin or pigmentation, that's that's what um, leprosy is. But they're going to tell you that leprosy is, you know, you're having boils in your skin. And that's what the white man in Israel, he got this, 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 
this hat with a brim around it. Why? Because he wants to shade his face, his ears, and the back of his neck. And got, he got these black suits. Why? Because the color black, it absorbs the UV lights from the sun. Because they cannot survive in the sun. So how is, give me Psalms 121 and, 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 and 4 in the GNT, man. How is, how is God dealing with the white man? He's, he's the real Jew, right? But guess what? God's uh, creation is against them. Right. But it's, it's beneficial to the people that the world is fighting. Yeah. How is that? You see what I'm saying? Uh, uh. But touching back, you know, circling back to the point on how they wear these suits and these um, and these, and these uh, uh, long hats is because they can't survive in the sun, right? Because we we are rich in melanin and pigmentation. When the sun touches us, we get blessed, we get kissed. You know, we, it, it, you know our body it mani manufactures its own vitamin D and absorbs the calcium our bones need to help it, you know, grow and maintain strong and help. You know what I'm saying? But well, you got the, you got that? Psalms 121 and 8. Four. No, four. Four? Oh, yeah. verse four. The protector of Israel uh -huh. never do dozes or sleeps. So the most side, he protects us, right? Verse, All right, verse six now. Verse six. Right? The sun. What? Will, the sun uh -huh. will not hurt you. The sun will not hurt us. Well, the sun is hurting the white man. So he can't be the true jewel. See what I'm saying? But let's go back to the first. You have something? Bring it up. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 49, verse 10. Right? But I have made these. Here. Right, oh, look. Give me up. Uh, I right, I'll bring it out. I have uncovered his secret places. Uh huh. And he shall not be able to hide himself. White man is not gonna be able to hide himself. We can finally read now. That's and right. He's gonna kill us. That's right. Right for reading. So you know, quick. You know, quick. You know, I'm gonna put you on game real quick. Right. There was a law enacted by the General Assembly of the State of North Carolina, and they said if you was a white person and you try to sell some. Passes or books or teach a slave how to read or write, you were either fined, right? And and two hundred dollars in the eighteen hundreds was roughly like two thousand dollars. But if you was a free person of color and you tried to uh, um teach a slave how to read or write, guess what? In the discretion of the court, you were either fined, imprisoned, or whipped. You were whipped no less than thirty um no you were whipped no less than twenty lashes, but no more than thirty nine. But they want us to forget about these things, man. See what I'm saying? Let's go back to the verse. Give me uh verse sixty eight. This is Deuteronomy. Right. Chapter 20 is like that. Uh, and uh, 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring you into Egypt again so with ships. So remember, Moses, brother. Read that again, King. Read, it, read that again. Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So Egypt. Right, when you go to the Hebrew word for Egypt, it's Mizraim, right? And Mizraim means double straits. For example, right here, right? It's, you know, a rock and a hard place. If I'm between this, I'm in a state of perplexity. I can't move. See what I'm saying? Be that, so we are in a state. So we're going to go into Egypt again in a state of perplexity, a perplexity, a hellhole again by what? Come on, brother, stay focused. Uh, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with what? With ships. Nah, nah, we're going we're gonna to swim over here. With ships. Oh, now nah, we're going to fly. With Ships. But with ships. Right, ships. So what nation of people? What nation of people? By the way, this happens to the nation of Israel. See what I'm saying? Oh, 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 get out. Book of Ezekiel, chapter 29, verse 23. Uh huh. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity. Right, we went into captivity for what? For their sins. For our sins, man. Right, because we did not put God's shoes to keep God's laws. So God said, look, since you want to. Since you don't want to obey my voice, I'm going to put you through trials and tribulations, right? And you're going to be, we always say, we're going through a, a, a generational curse. And that's all throughout the Bible. See what I'm saying? You have Revelation 11 and 8. Uh, Bring it out. Uh, Revelation. Showing, showing you that Egypt is, anon, is synonymous. Showing you that Egypt is spiritually Sodom and, you know, uh, uh, showing, you, showing that America is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Bring it out. Book of Revelation, um, 11 and verse 8. Right. And their dead bodies. Our dead bodies. We're not talking about, you know, physical, physical, spiritual. We're dead. We're, we're low, right? We don't. Shall lie in the street of the great city. It's a great city, right? You know? But spiritually, it's called Sodom and Egypt. So America is spiritually called Sodom. You see what happened? God destroyed Sodom. So for what? Their fornication. Right? And we see that that's big in America. The LGBT community, community the elemental people. Oh, shit. You see what I'm saying? I, I, I identify as a queer, uh, 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 you know, a he, she, you know, it's all, all madness, man. And, and you know, thanks. Uh, where else?
Israel and Lord was crucified. Right? No, my um, <laughs> Sodom and Egypt. And Egypt, right? You see the back of your dollar bill, you'll see a pyramid. Showing you that we are in spiritual Egypt, spiritual bondage. Right? right? But bring that up. We have some, right? Bring it up. Jeremiah 16 and 10. Right? And it shall come to pass. What shall come to pass? When thou shalt show this people all the words, uh -huh. and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore hath the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? Right. So, uh -huh. Bring it up. Or, what is our iniquity? What or, our, what, go ahead, slide. or what is our sin? Mm -hmm. That we uh, sorry, that we have committed against the Lord our God. So what is our sin? What is our iniquity? Right? Are we just are we just born to be slaves? Right? No, we're not. But we are in this predicament, this position. Right? And you said, brother, well, like, quick, you said that you are not really close to your father. You said that you're not really close to your father. Give me um, verse 54. Right? Verse 54. More persons to identify that we are the people of this book, man. Right. We, are, we, we fit these persons to a T. There's no way anybody could, you know, turn them around and take it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 54. Uh huh. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. So back then we should be tender and delicate towards our own people. We need money, food, shelter. I got you, but what? His eyes shall be evil towards now I hate my God. Toward his brother. Now I hate my brother. I step on your shoes, niggas wanna fight now. See what I'm saying? Now our brother wanna sleep with our own book with our wife. You will be trust a wife and another man shall lie with her. You guys you, know, you read down, you read on down. See what I'm saying? We don't. And toward the wife of his bosom. To the wife of his bosom. Domestic violence. We don't love our women. We degrade them. All through our songs. I'm going to I'm I'm act this man's girl. I'm going to beat my woman to help my woman. I'm going to have like 30 baby mamas and I'm not going to take care of none of those kids, man. Right, we don't. And towards the remnant of his children. Which, what's going to happen? What is the father going to do to the kids? Which he shall leave. I grew up without a dad. We're fitting these curses day in and day out. Because our people choose not to keep God's laws, man. Right, so we gotta from this day forward, we gotta keep God's laws. You see what uh, I'm saying? You got some laws that you gotta keep. The fringes, no pork, no no shrimp. See what I'm saying? No smoking. See what I'm saying? Look it up. Book of Proverbs chapter eight, verse thirty five. Right. For whoso findeth me, findeth life. Now what? For whoso findeth me, findeth life. If you, if, if you if you want to find the Most High God, you're gonna find life. You wanna be alive. You don't wanna die out here, man. It's dangerous. It's scary. Niggas is dying in their prom. Why? Because God is, God is suddenly, you know, you know, putting uh, spirits on these on, on, on people to destroy His people. Because our people, they don't, they don't care about the Most High God. See what I'm saying? We deserted Him. We abandoned Him. We abnegated His, his we rejected His laws every day, man. Right? But bring it up. This is First Corinthians 15 and 34. Awake to righteousness and sin not. So you gotta what you gotta do? Awake to righteousness and sin not. So you gotta awake to righteousness. What's righteousness? God's laws and sin no more. From this day forward, don't eat shrimp, have a lobster, right? Don't just go, don't just go out and sleep with anybody you see. Right? Court the woman, love the woman, honor your father and mother. See what I'm saying? We gotta, you know, we gotta be reformed uh, again. We gotta be reborn again. And that's what we're talking about. Alright, bring it out. I'll give you this. For some have not the knowledge of God. Some people were never blessed with the knowledge of God. Why? Because this Bible is arcane and esoteric. What does that mean? It's a compilation of mysterious books that was only intended to be understood by a few number of people. This ain't for everybody, brother. Two thirds of blacks and Hispanics are going to die. One third are only going to make it, bro. So we are out here in these towers and hedges to tell you, try to bid you to the marriage. Stop sinning. It's getting scary out here. You see the, the vaccine? I go, sloppy, man. Damn, I messed up that. You, see, you, you know what I'm saying? But you don't wanna you don't wanna be conformed to the image of this, of, of this world. Be conformed in the image of Christ. Yahweh Shai, that's his true name. See what I'm saying? We don't. I speak this to your shame. Uh -huh, I speak this to your shame. You gotta... uh, Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 6. Uh -huh. uh, 16. Right. The man that wandered out of the way um, of understanding. Right, if, you, if you wander out of the way of understanding, what's understanding? We have the understanding that we can pro we can provide to you, right, so that you can be, you know, blameless in the presence of the Most High God. You know, shall remain in the congregation of the dead. If you don't want to, if you don't want to uh, 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 increase the wisdom, you're gonna remain with the two thirds that's gonna be destroyed, the congregation of the dead. You know, ah, uh, uh, you, you, you have something? I'll uh, bring it up. Let's go. Go ahead, Kay. You see what I'm saying? But you know, brother, we are here for you, okay? We're not here for our own, you know, 
You're not trying to please man. You don't care about no money. You're trying to win your soul, brother. You feel me? Alright, man. Go ahead, man. Uh, this is Matthew 13, verse 9. Mm. Verse 10. Bring it out. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why is it because thou unto them in parable? He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. So Christ spoke unto the disciples with parables, right? It's like, you see what I'm saying? It's like, I got a, it's like a guy called, secret code. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not for everybody to understand, only for a few number of people. So that's how Christ spoke, and that's how we speak it to you. Because it's ain't for everybody. That's right. You feel me? Be on. But to them, it is not given. It's not given to the white man, to the Chinese man. It's only given to you, brother. That's and with right. that, I'm gonna say, 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 I'm gonna we working. I tame and I tame and it's worth it. Whoa, whoa, it's a car in the building. We ain't sorry.